Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can transfer all our data from one USB device, like USB devices, to another USB device using Xcopy. Now Xcopy is built into Windows and uh, we're going to take a look at how we can transfer all that data uh, very easily using that command. So I'll show you how to do it. So first off, let me just show you um, our drive here. So you can see it's pretty full up, uh, it's a 32 gig drive and uh, it's a USB 3.0 drive and I want to transfer it to this new 64 gig uh, 3.0 uh, drive and it's pretty easy to do. You can either copy and paste all this stuff across but that's a bit long and tiresome. Use a good old uh, DOS command and it should copy all this stuff straight across very easily. Let me show you how we're going to do that. So first off we need to open up a command prompt. So we're going to go down here and put cmd and then we're going to right click on this and then run this as administrator. See yes to the user account control. Now once we've got this open I'll show you some of the commands you can use. So all you need to do is just type x, x copy space forward slash question mark and this will give you all the commands. So these are your switches that you can use and you can see here there's an array of switches that you can use with the xcopy command now some of the good ones uh, are e you can see here copies directories and subdirectories included empty ones now if you want to use this switch you can you can just put xcopy uh, forward slash and then e and this will also use that switch i'll show you how to do that in a second um, but also there's some other ones here there's h uh, which is another one, uh, copies hidden and system files also. So you can use these switches if you wish uh, to copy across. And you can see O, which copies files ownership and ACL information, copies files audit settings. There's loads of different switches here. You can read through these and go through which ones you want to use. Okay, so you don't have to use just the ones I'm using, depend on what job you're trying to do, um, what stuff you're copying. So what we're going to do is uh, get ready to do this. So I'm going to clear the screen here. And you clear the screen by typing CLS. And once you've got this open here, uh, like so, what we're going to do is take a note of the drive letters. So you can see I and J. Okay, So I has got all my content in it and uh, J has got nothing in it. And that's where we want to transfer all the stuff to. So let's uh, start off with the xcopy command and then you want to do uh, space and then you want to do i and then colon and then backslash and then you want to do little star and this is going to do all the files that are on there okay that that little command there means all the files on there and then we're going to do space and then we're going to do j and then colon and then space forward slash and we're going to do e space forward slash h and then space forward slash k and these are all the switches that we're going to use okay so that's what it's going to do it's going to copy all the content onto there so we just push enter and it will start to copy all those files across just like so as you can see and this will take some time but uh, just let it do its thing and it will copy all them across and uh, you should have all your data transferred across there. So as you can see that's the files now all copied across 5336 files that's all been copied across. So let's take a look at the uh, drive it's now completed all the files have now been copied across as you can see here. So that's how you can copy all your data across using xcopy from one USB to another or one uh, external drive to another or one hard drive to another depends on what you want to do but xcopy is still about and it still does a pretty useful job uh, I hope you enjoyed this my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any video requests or any questions you can either post them in the comment section below or on the forums you've got a better chance of them getting answered on the forum if you haven't joined my facebook fan page then you can also uh, pop over there and give us a like up over there so thanks again for watching guys have a great weekend and i shall see you again real soon bye for now